Okay, in this video, we're going to start talking about uh, module 4, density. Uh, this is actually continued from our module 3 uh, calculations involving uh, significant figures and the sum of unit conversions. Uh, basically, density is uh, one of the physical property. It shows you the mass of the substance at per unit volume. The basic calculation or the definition of the density is this. Density equals the mass over divided by the volume. So how many grams per one? Here the units we're using is ML, which stands for milliliters. Now, there are some commonly used to use dense, I'm sorry, units of densities <laughs> are these ones, okay? Uh, gram forward slash ml, gram forward slash centimeter cube, say C, or gram times ML negative one, gram centimeter cube negative one. Uh, all of these units are the same units, okay? Uh, basically, you can, grams are of course are all the same, okay? Uh, you literally, milliliters, centimeter cube, cc, which stands for centimeter cube, um, they are all the same units, um, you know, they're totally exchangeable, okay? So, unless otherwise, okay, these are completely exchangeable units, they are considered to be the same thing. Just like uh, centimeter cube, cc, and the milliliters are the same units, okay. Uh, of course, uh, based upon this D equals the mass over volume thing, uh, if you know, for example, uh, the density and the mass, you can rearrange this to find the volume. Or the other way around, if you know the volume and the density, you can find the mass from this, okay. Uh, on the survival guide, there's another concept that's been mentioned, but we're not going to detail discussion here, which is called uh, gravity, uh, specific gravity, okay. It's basically specific gravity on the most of the circumstances, okay? It's basically the same as, as, as density, okay? It's basically uh, the unit, uh, the density of something over the density of water. So, well, okay, that sounds a little bit confusing. Well, think about that, okay? Most of the time, on the most of the conditions, uh, the density of the water is one gram per mil. So, for instance, if you have a substance that's, um, in the density of two grams per mil, then the ratio between these two density will be two grams per mil over one gram per mil, that will be two. And then we say the specific gravity of this substance is two. So in other words, if you know the specific gravity, that's basically, okay, or a, it's a very good estimate of that. This is the density of the substance. Uh, and that usually is quite useful in uh, environmental or aqueous media chemistry, okay. Uh, anyway, so most of the time people are trying to understand density as, you know, as if it's heavier or lighter or as if, if it floats or sink uh, under the water or on top of the water uh, because of the specific gravity. Now here we're trying to do some basic calculations using this uh, formula. Okay, so here are a few examples. <clears throat> now. Typically, when we are trying to take the density of something, okay, we need to measure the volume and the mass. Uh, you, once you have the mass, and then you, you and then you can measure the volume. You can calculate the density. Now, if you have a solid, okay, like in this case, uh, you can take the mass on the scale. That's easy. Now, the volume. If you have a perfect shape, then you can multiply the dimension. Uh, you know, high times the width times the length. But if you have a solid with, you know, imperfect shape, then we do something called the water displacement. So basically you have a container uh, uh, with a water um, measurement in there, okay? And then complete submerge your subject into the water. And you can see the water level rise from here to, uh, to here. So the the difference or the volume rising here is basically the volume of your substance. And then you can take the difference between these two volume and you will find the volume of your substance and take the mass over the volume you can find the density. So that's called a water displacement method. Now uh, this usually happens to solid. For the liquid though, it's uh, the other way around. For the liquid, the volume is going to be fairly simple. Okay, the volume is going to be fairly simple, okay? The what mass-wise, you have to find the container. You have to measure the empty container first, the mass of it, and then you pour in the liquid, okay? And measure the total mass, and then find, subtract the empty mass from this total mass, you'll find the mass of the 
liquid and then divide mass over the volume and you'll find the density of liquid okay so we'll see uh, how is this going to be calculated in the, in the actual problem okay all right so let's start with a um, fairly simple problem like this one now a certain mineral has a mass of uh, 17.8 grams and a volume 2.35 centimeter cube. Like we said before, okay, this is if you see any units of volume like a milliliter, cc, or centimeter cube, they're basically the same thing. Okay, they're totally exchangeable. Uh, this question is pretty straightforward. It's just asking for the density of this. You have the mass, you have the volume, okay, and then you just need to divide by mass over the volume, okay. So density equals to mass over the volume, which equals mass so is going to be 17.8 grams. Uh, 2.35, sorry, 2.35 centimeter cube at the bottom as the volume, and then you're gonna divide these two numbers. Uh, this is gonna be end up to be, um, I think it's gonna be, excuse me. Uh, the only thing you need to be aware here is you have both mass and the volume, they are measured numbers. Okay, so you do have to take the significant figures counting here. Um, sometimes you may have the same number six figures, sometimes you may have one less or more than the other. But uh, in this case, 17.8 has three six figures, 2.35 uh, has three six figures as well. So let me underline this, okay? One, two, three, and then one, two, three, okay. So if you don't remember how to count the fix, you might want to go back to uh, module three, early mod uh, lectures of module three. So it's going to have uh, three sig figs here. So your answer is going to be, the answer, of course, is going to be a really long number, but you need to round this down to three sig figs, okay. Uh, units of the density is going to be a combined unit. So you're going to have gram forward slash centimeter cube. All right, so like I said, for any of these calculation problem, feel free to pause the video in the middle of the video. Uh, see if you can try it out yourself. Okay. All right, let's see. Excuse me. All right, here's another example. An object that has a mass of 243.8 grams and occupies a volume 0.125 liters. So what is the density of the... Um, object in grams of, uh, per centimeter cube. Uh, the thing is, it seems pretty straightforward. You have the mass, okay? You have the volume, and you just need to divide the mass over the volume, you'll find the density, right? Uh, the only thing you want to be aware here is the specific units the question is asking for is gram per centimeter cube, whereas your mass is fine, but your volume has a unit of liters. So you do have to convert these liters into centimeter cube first, and then you can divide the gram over centimeter cube. Now, 1.125 liters, you have to convert this into centimeter cube, which is the same as milliliters, okay? As we already know that uh, when we do the unit conversion, we want to have a number in the front, and that we want to have a unit conversion factor, and also the way you arrange the converting factor is having the units you start from at the bottom so you can cancel it. The units you're desiring on top, okay, and then fill in numbers. One liter is going to be about 1,000 milliliters. So basically multiply this number by 1,000 gives you 125 centimeter cube. So the calculation here is going to be 243.8 divided by... 125. And the units up here is gram, the unit down here is centimeter cube, which is the same as meter liters. Okay. And again, uh, you do have to uh, check through the number of sig figs you are using. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So you're keeping three sig figs at the end. That's going to be 1.95. The unit is a gram per centimeter cube. I wouldn't say you are wrong if you give me the units of gram per milliliter. So okay, as I've said a number of times, they are the same thing. Okay, right, let's take a look at another one. All 
All right, so in this question, you have copper uh, has a density of 8.96 gram per centimeter cube. Okay, if 75 grams of copper is added to 50 ml of water in a graduate cylinder, to what volume reading will the water level in the cylinder rise up to? So let's imagine a scenario, okay? You have a piece of copper, okay? And, excuse me, you're throwing this piece of copper into 50 ml of water. Obviously, you have the reading of the volume. That means uh, this water is in, let's say, in a graduate cylinder. Okay, and you have what in there, 50 mil. And then by throwing a piece of copper, of course, water level will be a little bit higher, right? By adding a piece of copper, 75 grams Cu. Now, what is the new volume? Okay. Uh, so the new volume is basically the volume of water, which is 50 ml, plus the volume of copper piece. Okay, that's the total volume. Now, we don't know what's the volume of copper, but we do know you're given the density of the copper and the mass. 75 gram is the mass, okay, mass of the copper. From these two, okay, we can, D equals to mass over the volume. Okay, so you can find out the volume using mass divided by density. So you basically move this den divide density on both sides and then move the volume by multiply volume on both sides. Okay, so you would end up cancel the volume here, having volume here, but move density over. So you volume goes to M over D. All right, take this, uh, this opportunity. Okay, let's see uh, if we can find um, mass from density and volume. So mass equals to volume times density. Okay. In this case, obviously, we need to find this one. Okay. So you need to, uh, when you're using this density mass volume formula calculation thing, you got to make sure uh, you're using the corresponding numbers. Okay. Like in this case, you want to find using the mass of copper, which is 75 grams, and the density of copper is 8.96. Okay, so you would find the volume of copper equals to mass of copper over the density of copper. All right, mass of copper is 75 grams over the density of copper, 8.96. Oh, excuse me. Gram per centimeter cube. This will give you the volume of copper. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, 8.37 uh, centimeter cube. If you're wondering what, what is the volume unit will be, well, whatever the unit in the density it is, and then that's going to be the volume of this, this volume, uh, unit of this volume, okay? So this is the volume of the copper. Now, if you throw in this piece of copper into 50 ml water, so the total volume, or which is the water level at the end, this reading is going to be 50 mil plus 8.37, which equals to 58.37 mil. Now, the only thing you got to be careful here is now we are doing two step calculations. One is this division, and of course, you're counting sig figs 74, 75.0. This zero is significant because of the decimal point. Okay, a trading zero is significant when there's a decimal point. So three, eight point nine six, three six figs. So at the end, you keep three six figs as uh, eight point three seven. Now the next step, which is also the final step here, we're doing addition. In addition, subtraction, we're counting only decimal places. So fifty point zero, as it's a given from the question. Okay, you can't change that. Has only one decimal, and eighty eight point three seven. Even though it has three sig figs, but it only has two decimals. So one versus two. So you're only supposed to have one decimal at the end. So this number should run up to 58.4 mil or centimeter cube. Doesn't really matter, okay. Okay, so this is uh, this question. Okay.
All right, so I've, hopefully after this, you have a fairly good idea about how uh, density calculation works. Uh, uh, we make, we're going to make another separate video if you need additional examples.